Sword Art Online Last Recollection release date has been officially announced with more scenes from the opening animated by A1 Studios along with collector's edition boxes, a preview into their contents and a lot more. Welcome to this week in SAO Last Recollection Special. For starters, what you're <laughs> likely most interested in, so I believe I deserve a like on the video for putting it at the very beginning and tanking my watch time, Sword Art Online Last Recollection is set to launch on October 5 on consoles, those being PlayStation 4 and 5 as well as Xbox Series and one devices switch not yet on the table. The release date for PC is a day later as usual for SAO games for whatever reason, October 6 via Steam. A little heads up that these are Japanese release dates. The western accounts of Bandai Namco provided a blanket October 6 release for the game without the platform differences, so console players could be getting the game a day after Japan does, a practice I hate slightly more than Japan separating the dates between consoles and PC. This information came from Reona's channel who posted the full version of the game's opening Vita as a music video featuring clips from the anime and previous games but also a lot more cuts from Last Recollection which we assume to be from the opening animation of the game. You can watch the full thing by tapping the icon on the top right, I have to cut it a lot in this one for copyright reasons, so far we don't know if the game itself will also feature scenes animated by A1 or not, but based on the snippets we have received, I cannot wait to dig into the opening and make an explained video on it when they eventually publish it. I was hoping the stream earlier today would maybe have an actual trailer to add to the fray, but sadly it did not. It was mostly a recap of the news as they had promised, but they went a little deeper into the collector's edition bonuses that were revealed and showed some of them live as well. The basic limited edition, called the Last Recollection Edition, comes with a special box featuring the new key visual drawn by Abeshi. This illustration also replaces the game box art itself, there's a special CD case featuring artwork from the second key visual and inside that special case there is the game soundtrack and another drama CD as is the tradition for SAO games. For those curious, we have a full translation of the Illustration Licorice drama CD here on the channel which was the prologue story of Gameverse Hero and Wayfarers in Illustration Licorice, you can watch that by tapping the icon on the top right. If we can get our hands on the last Collection one, we'll have a look into that as well. Last Year Collection Drama CD has already finished recording according to the stream and will be around 30 minutes long. It'll be focusing on game original characters, including Itsuki getting a name drop, but it also came with an asterisk that characters featured in the drama CD may not necessarily appear in the game, so I am assuming that is specifically referring to Itsuki because he's a male character and not a female. And of course, the contents... <laughs> <laughs> and of course the <laughs> contents will be directly tied into the events of the game, same as Illustration Licorice. Aside from that, there is the Nerve Gear Special Volume 7, which features character information, interviews and game art, and last but not least, an acrylic board featuring Abeshi's key visual. I'll just quickly inject myself in here before moving on to the larger box. These are announced for Japan only at the moment. I'll try to contact Bandai Namco Germany and UK and potentially US to see if we can get a confirmation, but don't hold your breath, they most certainly won't be able to confirm or deny a Western Collector's Edition before they either announce it themselves or way later down the line when it's pretty much confirmed they won't have one. And also, even if we do get a CE in the West, they had stopped translating the Nerve Gear special since Fatal Bullet and they never did anything with the drama CDs anyways as they were primarily audio content. Anyways, moving on, there is the 10th Anniversary Memorial Edition which is the larger box which if you didn't know, SAO Infinity Moment, that was later remade into Hollow Fragment, came out in 2013, so it is indeed the 10th anniversary of the SAO games. This Memorial Edition features all the contents of the Last Collection Edition we just talked about, but additionally, it comes with a character fine graph featuring a serial number for your Abish illustration, a special SAO Games 10th anniversary shirt that has the infamous sentence from Kayaba Akiko, uh, translated weirdly let's say, doesn't change the fact that I definitely want one, Bandai Namco Senpai please notice me, character acrylic stands Kirito and Asuna showcased on the visual itself, but during the stream they also showcased Yujiro, Alice and Dorothy versions as well, it is supposed to be a set of 19, which 
is incredible and makes me sad that we never get these in the West. A special collection box which they reveal the contents of during the stream. This box features a 3D crystal LED featuring character art that will shine colorfully when you turn it on, a B2 sized tapestry, a desk mat featuring Abeshi's illustration and a stainless steel glass featuring the game logo. And last but not least, it will include the premium pass for the game along with bonuses attached to the premium pass and SEO game series battle BGM pack. Yes, that basically confirms we are getting DLC for last year collection too, but they are listed as additional heroine content which makes me scratch my head a bit. Based on that wording, I feel like the base game will probably wrap up the SEO game verse this time and the DLCs will be intercalls with game characters or perhaps unrelated isolated events to the main course of the game. To be frank, Illustration Liquors' DLCs were also quite isolated in their nature and barely felt like an extension of the game anyways. As for the premium pass bonuses, they include additional dungeons, outfits and items as well as an Integrity Knight outfit for Yujo and Kirito respectively. I'm interested in dungeons but that's always me hoping that Akuria will finally deliver a balanced game so we won't need these extremely spongy enemies with artificial difficulty because a certain 1% exploit the shit out of the imbalance in the power curve but who am I kidding that's probably the route we're going once more and 99% of you will never even touch them. I, I really enjoyed the sacrament dungeons in Hollow Realization why, why don't we just do that again? More like the first two sets less of the third set please. As for the Integrity Knight sets for Kirtan Yujo and by extension the early purchase bonuses that I did not mention yet, Dark Repulsor, Elucidator and three other swords from previous SAO games. I don't like this. Kirito's Integrity Knight outfit, sure, it's an original concept, well, original in quotes at this point, but I really dislike the practice of taking what feels like staples of the series, of this game specifically, and using them as coercing mechanics, like, come on, at least the Integrity Knight armor for Yuji should have been available for free, since Yuji literally got it in Illustration Licorice and narratively still should have it in his possession. I'm also a bit jaded that we keep getting sold the exact same bonuses with every single game, it's, it's getting tiring. Anyways, pre-order bonuses, early purchase bonuses, they exist, nothing much can be done about that. I hope they will come, some of them will come free to Bandai Namco's uh, club section on their website for free. The last bit of valuable info we got from the stream is that we're now getting mini voice dramas through SAO Beaters Cafe for Sword Online game characters. Not just the game verse, all games, even characters like Edith Synthesis 10 from Unleashed Blading and Koharu from integral factor appear to be included. The first one will be arriving on March 31st for Philia's birthday, so stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss out on in-depth SAO content, and I'll see you all on Monday for the regularly scheduled This Week in SAO. Until then, stay cool.